TitleMatchNetwork.com. This is, I think, the first time that Ultraviolet is standing across the ring from Sumi Sakai. And, you know, over the years, Ultraviolet actually did a little bit of training over at uh, Cheeseburger School at the Worldwide Dojo. And Sumi, one of the trainers there as well. And, and Sumi has been such an integral part of Ultraviolet's career, watching her along the way. We talked to her on In and Out the Locker Room just about how their relationship grew and, and the friendship that kind of came be between them. And what an opportunity it has to be to be able to, to really prove yourself to someone that's had such a hand and, and, and has kind of observed your development along the way. Sumi taking down Ultraviolet pretty early, but Ultraviolet escapes now. Maybe trying to prove you, you may have been my teacher, but I've mastered the art now. She's leveling up. So we mentioned Sumi Sakai, 26 year veteran, inaugural Ring of Honor, Women of Honor, world champion. Such a storied, here, storied career, of course, being honored later tonight. My gosh, this is just... And, and two, also, even before this event happened, Sumi Sakai hosted a seminar at Super Crazy Venue for, for anyone and everyone to learn even more about the craft from the legend herself. But i got to imagine, too, whenever it's a teacher-student dynamic, there's always the old adage that the student knows only what the teacher has chosen to teach them. But the teacher knows everything that the student has learned. That is, that is a good point here tonight, but Ultraviolet so far has been betting pretty well against Sumi Sakai. You know what, too? I think along the way, any time that Ultraviolet has has doubted herself or felt like she wasn't ready for something, it was Sumi that was really encouraging her to say that, you know, you're, you're never going to feel like you're perfect enough, but you should always go for it because you are such a special competitor. Oh, but very quickly from, from <laughs> applauding her to forcing her again to test her medal. Sumi now, shoulder block takes Ultraviolet down, showing off that power, that strength. Sumi Sakai. 51 years old, but still running like she's just getting started. There is no stopping Sumi Sakai. Now Ultraviolet though looks ready to fly. Caught on the outside with that big dive from Ultraviolet. Sumi Sakai is wiped out. You know, we mentioned Ultraviolet, though. Again, her former rival, Christina Marie, the last time we saw Ultraviolet. You know, Hang on, she, quick cover. She she was kind of on the receiving end of a pair of brass knuckles from, Alt from Christina Marie, but obviously she seems unfazed now. She's obviously recuperated, now taking it to her mentor. Well, and it really speaks to the fortitude of of Ultraviolet. Hold on now. Again with the cover. Sumi says no. But Ultraviolet had so much fortitude that had been leveled by Christina Marie. Had a knot the size of a grapefruit on her forehead, but said that she wanted Christina Marie reinstated so that they could settle and, and squash that feud the right way. They wanted a decisive ending to... to that rivalry between them. And I really think it speaks volumes to the character of Ultraviolet. Now, Ultraviolet in the main event here of victory here tonight. Oh, but Sumi Sakai now, oh, driving her knee into the jaw. Sumi Sakai now dragging Ultraviolet with the cover. Violet kicks out. And Ultraviolet is reeling. Sumi Sakai now once more. Still not enough. And the third time could be the charm. Not quite. Back to the drawing board goes Sumi Sakai with a stomp to the midsection of Ultraviolet. And now switching position. Wrenching back. You see the, the hand was around the throat and now... Obscuring the vision and wrenching back on the spine. I think Sumi might have been debating having a fistful of hair of ultraviolet and instead is just going to be nice, just running her hands through it. Sort of. Two, three, 
Sumi, such a wily veteran, knowing three, exactly three, counting along three, with our official of just how much time she can put damage. Still not breaking the rules, only bending them slightly is Sumi Sakai. Ultraviolet still caught up. Has to somehow get her out, herself out of this predicament. Oh, wait, hang on. Oh, gee, slam face first. Sumi Sakai sending Ultraviolet back out to ringside. And now, oh, God. Ultraviolet in the steel chair. And like we said, that is a concrete floor beneath the competitors here at ringside. Now, look, grinding the face of Ultraviolet into the corner of the apron, right along that edge. That is a very thin apron skirt of fabric separating Ultraviolet from cold steel. Again, Sumi throwing Ultraviolet back in the ring. The referees count, they, she breaks it. Cover from Sumi, not enough. Ultraviolet, it means too much to her. She has to continue fighting to show the woman that took her under her wing just how much she has grown over the years. Oh, plants are down, but maneuvers into the pinfall. Not enough, Sumi Sakai now. Caught by Ultraviolet with that backslide. Can she do it? Oh, not enough. Ooh, broken up by Sumi. Catches the boot of Ultraviolet. God, is she biting I, the knee? It looked like it. Gosh, I guess there's more than one reason to wear knee pads in the ring. Ah, oh, jeez. Speaking of knees, driving her knees into the lower back of Ultraviolet, Sumi Sakai with the cover. Ultraviolet kicks out. Sumi Sakai staying cool, calm, and collected. Unrelenting offense. She's using her her shirt to choke out Ultraviolet. I guess where there's a will, there's a way. Now using her belt, any part of Sumi's gear is fair game, I suppose. Sumi, knowing the rules, bending them, but not breaking them, of course. And that's what happens when you've been in this sport for upwards of 20 years. You know exactly how much you can get away with. Please, let go. Sumi now being chastised by our official but still utilizing this maneuver. You're not gonna win the match with it, but it just might be enough to put the right amount of damage. Missile with drop, a drop kick. kick. Swinging with the neck breaker is Sumi Sakai. The cover, it, no, Ultraviolet's still in this. And I, I have to assume that Sumi Sakai was definitely one of those influential people to instill the heart, the relentlessness of Ultraviolet here now in place. Sumi going, going high risk. Going to pay off for high reward in this matchup. No. Oh. Scouted. Out a firm way. Scouted by Ultraviolet. Now Ultraviolet has her sights set on the woman that has taken her under her wing. Wiping out Sumi Sakai. Able to catch the kick, or catch the blow. Sent into the corner by Sumi. Violet gets the boot up, she's up on that middle rope. Dives with the drop kick. Hooks the leg of Sumi Sakai, is it enough? No. no. But undeterred, Violet stays on top of it now. Wrenching in the submission hold, compromising the air supply. But Sumi, can she, can she? Oh, oh, I think that too much damage was done. Ultraviolet couldn't hold that submission in. 
forced to release the hold. It was ultraviolet. Sumi anchoring herself against the the leg of ultraviolet. Get some shots to the back. Ooh. Face first goes ultraviolet. Sumi Sakai now with the cover. Oh, but not quite. Sumi now racking her brain, wondering, did I teach her too well? I think that's a testament to her own teaching, you know, but obviously in this scenario, Sumi Sakai is looking to wrap her career with a nice bow towards the end of it, but Ultraviolet not making it easy for her. Ultraviolet with that training from House of Glory as well as from the Worldwide Dojo, the German suplex that she got from Sumi herself. Sumi kicks out. Sumi wisely rolling out of the ring to collect herself. Now going into the audience of members, it appears. And we did say everyone in the audience totally loves Sumi, but now a drop toe hold and a face full of steel chair for Ultraviolet. The referee now starting his count. Again, you can only win this matchup by pinfall or submission. And it's got to happen in the ring, too. Yes. Both competitors now returning to the ring. Not the way that either competitor would want things to end. You want a decisive victory. Sumi! Not opting for the cover right away, though. Interesting strategy. I mean, is she that confident that Ultraviolet's not getting up? No. No, 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 no. She's going to introduce a chair. Come on. Hey, hey, hey. No chair. No chair. Yes. Come on. No Sumi. Chair. Oh. oh, okay. Our, our official got it. Make sure that Sumi Sakai can't wield this chair against Ultraviolet. Wait a second. No, no, no. Using the steel chair to, to launch herself off of with a sense of flip spinning back fist. And Ultraviolet with the air raid crash. Hook in the leg. Ultraviolet's done it. Ultraviolet pulling out all of the proverbial stops and an embrace between Sumi Sakai and the woman she took right under her Sumi. wing. Oh, wow. Hey, don't make me cry. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> no, you won't. I know where you live. I've already talked to your husband once to that. That's why he loves me too, it's fine. Real friends share, Jesus. No, but in all seriousness, for those of you who haven't heard, Sumi Sakai is on her farewell tour this year, her last year actively taking wrestling bookings. I have known Sumi Sakai for about 20 years. I have had numerous pleasures to share a ring with her as my tag partner, as my opponent. I have never been calmer, felt safer, or more taken care of in a wrestling ring than when I shared it with Sumi. Snitching mood, Sumi. A lot of the American women who have gotten to go to Japan to live out their dreams did so thanks to Sumi Sakai. As long as I have known Sumi, she has been one of the most unselfish wrestlers I've ever met. Sumi goes above and beyond to make everyone in the locker room and in professional wrestling better, to take care of and elevate all of her opponents 
while trying to make sure that every wrestling fan who bought a ticket got more than their money's worth. Sue me. Professional wrestling is better because you were in it. All of our lives were better because you're in it. On behalf of every promoter that's ever booked you, every fan that's ever bought a ticket to see you, and every professional wrestler who's ever had the privilege of sharing a ring or a locker room with you, we thank you. And on behalf of Capital Championship Wrestling, it is my esteemed honor to present to one of my closest friends and induct them into the Capital Championship Wrestling Women's Hall of Fame. Sue me. This is for you, my friend. What a beautiful moment. Appreciation for the trailblazer, the legend, Sumi Sakai. Please don't find it to watch. It was so bad. I don't want to 
Okay, you know, but but uh, appreciate. You know, that's why that day was there. That's why uh, I'm still here. So this country was so different, but right now women's wrestling is so different since 2002. Because like 2002, so many people hurt, like Best Phoenix, like Nati, you know, like Mickey James, and uh, you know, so many, you know, Marcelis, and so many people are still here to working so hard to changing like this country because Japan was so different, you know, like long time ago already, but this country was so ready because nobody wanna see women's wrestle. But example he gave to so many people a chance to wrestle. You know, like so many kinds of women. And so many people came here to watch us too. And so different. So John Zandil gave me a chance to two thousand three to wrestle CGW. Titlematchnetwork.com